Hey guys, it is Boonitz Chrissy, and welcome to episode 4 of my WoW Let's Play. We are back with Loza the No Monk, and last episode, we did a lot. We defeated Razlo Crushcog. Apparently, he was trying to hinder or stop the gnomes from taking back New Tinkertown, so we killed him. Well, wait, did we kill him, or did we just capture him? I think we killed him. Yeah, we fired missiles at him and stuff. Anyway, he is gone, and now we are besties with Mechatork. After we defeated Razzle Crushcog, we finally left our little tutorial zone of New Tinkertown, which is kind of sad, but I mean, I guess it was time. We made our way to Karanos, which is full of party people. The first quests that I did here were all about food and drink which I'm not complaining about because, I mean, food and drink. What else did we do? Oh yeah, we finally got shoes. I didn't realize that this whole time Loza was barefoot. I remember that there was this really sweet bear rug, and it was this one right here, and I was actually going to have Loza lay down on it, and I was going to start the part that way, but it has been replaced by this apple bobbing barrel. So I guess we're just going to have to start this part by bobbing for apples. So if you're a pro at this game, you could probably tell that I haven't played in a while because the last time the inn was decorated with um, those pretzel beer wreaths. And now it's Halloween-y. Now what is this? Candy buckets like this are located at inns throughout the realms. Go ahead, take some. Oh. Oh! Now how long does this last? Does this seriously last for an hour? Am I really... Am I really gonna look like this for an hour? Um... <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no, you and me! Okay, you too, Ambassador Timothy. He's like, no thanks. I am not gonna fall for that. So I guess this is gonna last for an hour. Can I still like do everything I need to do? This is so weird. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to look like this for this episode. Unless there is a way, but I don't know how to not look like this anymore. This is kind of gross, everybody. Nonetheless, I'm gonna take a picture. Who's talking? What is that over there? Red font? That's very ominous. Shade of the horseman. Undead? Is he a bad guy? Or is this Halloween? Isn't that always the question for Halloween? Is it bad or is it just Halloween? I'm just looking at these jack-o'-lanterns. I made a jack-o'-lantern. Well, I carved a pumpkin this year and it was a really adorable cat. And I set it out on my front porch and a week later it turned into grumpy cat because the face caved in. Costumed orphan matron. Is that a mask? Oh. Let's uh, park our, our disgusting body on this hill and take a look at our quests. Quests in Dunmoro. Am I saying that right? Is it Dunmoro or Dunmoro? <laughs> that sounded exactly the same. Forced to watch from afar. We got this from who? Captain Tharon. Oh yeah. Convey orders to these people. Dunstan, Lewin, Lewin, and Valgrim. I think that's just, what do they call this kind of quest where you just have to talk to someone? Cookie crumble or breadcrumb? Next one is pilfered supplies. Retrieve, retweave. Six pilfered supplies from the grizzled den. That's not far at all. So here are those people, and then here is where you kill the wendigos, and then you get the supplies in the same area. So everything's in the same area good. Well everybody, I was excited to play with shoes on and 
admire my shoes, but... I mean, we got this situation instead. Oh, did you see how he was looking at that little girl? Creepy. During Hallow's End, his attacks on this village are frequent and terrible. The brave dwarves of Karnos can form a fire brigade, brigade in an instant. Now that the Headless Horseman is around, do you want to help? South of here, the Mountaineers set up a small area to practice fighting fires. Go there and throw buckets onto the blazes. You can fill a bucket from the water barrel here. And for doing that, I will get a tricky treat. If it's just something you eat, I wouldn't do it. But if I could turn into this again, I'm all in. So let's accept it. Um, I guess we should go pick up some water. But where are the fires? Maybe if we go atop this hill, we can see the fires. What? This is really creepy. Why are they in the shape of... men? Toss to a friend or onto a burning building. I have to do this five times. Since my body is so big, it feels like I'm moving so slow, but I know that's not the case. Oh my gosh, did you see how it was walking just then? Why was it walking like that? That was kind of cute. How did it do that? Was it just walking super slow? Oh, duh, it's totally a mask. Oh, it did it again. It's because I was, no? I thought it was because I was walking really close to the wall. It was like tiptoeing, but. How many times am I going to keep left-clicking it to know that's not how you do it? Probably two more times. Okay, first it is right-click, and then it is left-click. That's kind of unsatisfying that the fire doesn't actually go out. starting to get hungry IRL. Did I miss it? How do I get lost? Oh, there it is. Yay, now we can finally turn in! Give me that candy. You must help us. The Headless Horseman will attack the village at any moment. Fires will be everywhere. The children aren't safe. Please, Lozit, will you face the fires of the Headless Horseman? When he comes, you must join the fire brigade. Grab a bucket and toss it on the fires, or pass it to a friend who's closer to the blaze. If you put out all the fires, then we may yet be saved. So, I will receive this or a pumpkin to put on my head, which actually I do want, so let's do it. Prepare yourselves. The bells have tolled. Shelter your weak, your young, and your old. Each of you shall pay the final sum. Cry f Damn. It's too slow. <laughs> Matron, is that bad man going to eat us? Are you talking about me? Because I look like I would eat a child. Oh, the fire's right there! That do anything? Maybe I have to get closer. And actually, like, aim it up here, probably. Yeah, that look. Yeah, that looked like it did it. If my mom were alive, she'd put out the fires. Well, I'm trying, child. Do 
do I have to actually go up there? Is there a way to get up there? Without flying? Because obvs, I can't do that yet. I don't think so. Unless there's a way, there's like a window up top. No, there's not even any stairs in here. What is this place? Got some anvils. This is a blacksmith. What is it called? Like a, an, where did, what is that building called? I forgot. A blacksmith. His building is called the same thing as his profession. Okay, this is gonna be a good toss. Should I give up on this? Something tells me I actually have to be on top of the building and there's no way for me to get up there. So I'm just gonna have to watch it burn. So let's actually go ahead and make our way to these people, to these mountaineers, and on the way grab some supplies and kill the wendigos. Don't fall down. The way that the sun is hitting the snow is actually quite beautiful. Alright, I remember this now. Oh, a wolf is killing me. I was like, why am I all red? It's not enough to look out for the wendigos. I have to look out for wolves now too. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just a crack boar. It's actually kind of cool with these cleavers and chains. Instead of my fists of fury, now I have some chains and whips. What's this again? Oh, blackout kick. What is blackout kick and when did I get that? All right, let's um let's nestle in between these trees and read about blackout kick. I look ridiculous. So what level am I? Level 7. I'm still wearing my trainee's vest and my trainee's wrist straps. I need to level up. A summary of my attacks. Number one is jab. Clobber the target with your staff, dealing 9 to 13 damage and generating 2 chi. And then we have tiger palm, which spends 1 chi. Attack with the palm of your hand, dealing 22 to 33 damage and causing your attacks to ignore 30% of armor for 20 seconds. So what that means is you deal more damage, but also your if you use this, you ignore 30% of the enemy's armor for 20 seconds. And blackout kick, which I don't even remember getting, which is kind of embarrassing. It spends two chi and you kick with a blast of chi energy dealing 40 to 58 physical damage. So it's too bad that I can't see that in action right now because that sounds really cool. Let's see, let's try and generate enough chi and then use the blackout kick. Yeah, you can't see the animation of the kick, but you did see that black out. Okay, you got that guy. I probably look ridiculous to other people right now. So there are some supplies over there, pilfered supplies. And I need six of those, and that's the first one I saw, but I think I just entered the zone where they start appearing, so... I think we're still doing good. That wolf just spawned right there. What are the chances? How am I supposed to climb a mountain? Ooh, a cave! Am I supposed to go in there, though? Not yet. Nope. 
Okay. Am I supposed to be up here? That's like instant death if I fall. Something tells me I'm not supposed to be way up here. I just realized that I don't have my sound on. There we go. Oh. Stop trying to fight me, I'm trying to say that I'm back. Okay everyone, so I actually found out where I am supposed to go. Looking at the map, I thought that we were supposed to go on top of the mountain, but I read the actual quest again, and I'm supposed to go into a cave, which is the same cave that we saw earlier. If you can see here, um, I have 12 minutes remaining for wearing this abomination costume, and it didn't actually take me that long to find out where I was supposed to go. I just was eating some of my leftovers from earlier because I was just so hungry that I could not. Oh. You've tried and failed. Let there what? be no doubt. Justice prevailed. Anyway, as I was saying, I was eating ribs my leftovers from earlier because I was so hungry I just could not even think straight anymore. What kind of ribs? Beer-basted boar ribs, of course. So we don't have to kill Wendigos anymore, but um, I still have to get three pilfered supplies. That kind of sucks that I didn't figure out how to do that Headless Horseman quest. I was throwing the barrels onto the fire, but I don't think I was close enough. I just hope I have the chance to do it again, and that it's not gone forever because I really want that pumpkin head. I want to wear a pumpkin head! So does that mean that these three people are also in the cave? Squad, the grizzled den, and his squad. Oh. I need to recall them. Okay. Find them and tell them to deploy those remote observation bots and return to Karnos. So we're gonna have to go deeper into this cave, which I was kind of afraid of earlier. I was hoping that I didn't have to go into the cave because caves scare me and there's enemies in them. Bright side is, at least I'm like pretty much the same size as them now. They're not that intimidating. That and I've got my blackout kick. Okay, so here's Mountaineer Dunstan. What? Wait, wait. All right. I'm ready for you, Mountaineer Dunstan. Watch yourself down here, monk. It's so funny because I don't look like a monk. These Wendigos are savage fighters. Captain Tharan wants you to deploy your remote observation bots and withdraw to Karanos. Tell Captain Tharan that I'll be back in Karanos as soon as I verify that the bot is working correctly. Remote observation bot. <laughs> I think he's working just fine. Okay, I see Mountaineer Lewin here. What's on your wait, wait, wait. Alright, gotta tell him the How same thing. He's gonna get his bot ready, and we have one more. Hmm. Something tells me this is not the right way. There's a copper vein right there. Prepare yourselves. The bells have told. Shelter your weak, your young, and your old. Each of you shall pay the final sum. Cry for mercy. The reckoning has come. I get lost in caves. Where's Mountaineer Valgrim? Can I squeeze through here? Sure can. Oh, there he is. What can I do for you? 
These Wendigos are an annoyance, sure, but the real fight is for those is with those Frostmane refugees. I've been fighting non-stop since the Cataclysm. It'll be nice to get a rest, if a brief one. Yeah, yeah, I think we can turn in everything. This is a complicated, complicated cave. Hmm. Where's the way out? Why is this so hard for me to figure out? Finally out. I think I'm gonna get my body back soon. Only three minutes left. Okay, Quartermaster Glina. Glina. Did you find any of the missing supplies? I sure did. Well done, Liza. The Mountaineers will be glad to hear that half rations are at an end. They'll need all their strength to continue fighting the Frost Mains. Choose your reward. Currently equipped Shimmerweed boots. So these are cloth, and I don't want that. Currently equipped trainees leggings. Oh, what? So my my trainees leg leggings are cloth too? So I want to wear cloth? Well, I definitely don't want these because it's negative one armor. But this is plus three armor, but it's cloth. I thought that monks didn't wear cloth. Time is short. I'll soon retire. That's really annoying. I hope that it doesn't do that the whole time I'm recording. It probably will. Okay, so let's wear those. Too bad we can't see what they look like. 44 seconds left. Oh, that's no use. Hey, at least my boots and my leggings match. Okay, let's um, turn in this quest, which was forced to watch from afar and culling the Wendigos. Thank you for your help. Complete quest, and then calling the Wendigos, complete quest. Pushing forward. Most of the Mountaineers and steam tanks in Dunmorrow are battling along the Frostbane front, which is approaching us from the southeast. We can barely hold the trolls back, let alone advance into their village and take on their leader. Yay, I'm back. I'm looking pro now. They've blocked our path of approach with mysterious totems that choke mountaineers who come in range, leaving the victims helpless against their enemies. This stone is inscribed with the rune of fire. It should be able to destroy the totems and free our mountaineers. Use the rune of fire to destroy four constriction totems in the frost main front. Frost main front? That sounds like a scary place to be. Razzle's Spry Sprocket. Okay, I remember talking to Talk Spry Sprocket. Operation. Ah, oh, so annoying. Let there be no doubt. Justice prevailed. Oh, look at these buildings that are still burning because of me. I feel bad. Operation Recombobulation. I should go back to Nomergon and continue researching a cure for irradiated gnomes. But I stayed behind in Karnos because the town is my home, and I wanted to help defend it from the frost main attacks. I've been working on maintaining and repairing the steam tanks. For some reason, frost main scavengers have taken a liking to the gnome, gnome, what? To the gyro, gyro mechanic gears. I need to complete the repairs. They're all over the frost main front to the southeast of town. Will you help me get those gears back? Bring Razzle Spry Sprocket. Eight gyro, gyro mechanic gears. So his name is really interesting because it's Razzle Spry Sprocket and Razzle sounds like Razzlo. So it'd be kind of funny if they were related. But he is also a Spry Sprocket, which means he has a kind heart. Are there any more quests around here? Operation Recombobulation, get some gears, and then let the fires come, put out the fires. Maybe I should try and again to put out the fires. Are they gone though? 
but they're gone now. Does that mean I'm not going to hear the horsemen talk anymore? Because that would be ideal. Let's just get some water just in case. Okay, so here's the frost main front, and I'm supposed to... Um, he's still talking. I have to burn four constriction totems and get eight gears. Oh, there are the totems. Okay. Oh, someone's attacking me. Who is it? Blackout kick you. Okay, so I gotta burn this. Take that. Don't throw your spears at me. Let's free this guy now. Yay, I'm level 8! How exciting is that? At least these guys don't say something weird like, I'm gonna turn you into Mojo. One more. Burns, a cleansing fire. Time is short. I'll soon retire. So we're done freeing the mountaineers from the totems, and now we have to get gyro mechanic gears. It looks like something I just have to pick up from the ground, but I haven't seen any yet. And it's not from looting them, because I've been looting them. These look like gears right here. No, they're tires. Oh dang, what have I gotten myself into now? Oh, okay, so it is from killing them. But it has to be these specific guys, the scavengers, not the scouts. You can see them on their back. I love how I'm fighting with my bucket in my hand. <laughs> You're a scout, I don't want you. Loza looks so cute when she does her blackout kick. Let me try and get it in action. So cute. Inventory full? No! And he's gonna throw spears at me and my inventory is full. Okay, I have to drop some stuff. I need more bag space, so let's get rid of this shield. I don't need these apples. I guess I could get rid of this fur. And I guess I could get rid of the water bucket. One less thing to carry. Ha 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 ha. Crag boar rib, hunk of bread. I guess I don't. I can get rid of the bread. Bracers of angular momentum. What am I wearing right now? Torque applying gloves. Okay, so what I'm wearing is better than that. At first, I thought this was like a mud pie. Okay, now I can pick up my. What am I looking for? Gears. Maybe I can grab some on the way back. I just need one more anyway. A builder, a scout. Let's try and dodge him. Scout. Scavenger. So I'm a level 8 now. Do I get like talents or whatever they're called? Whoa, these tanks are cool. They're like bear heads. Let's go this way. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Pull two. Generate this chi. Oh, there's three of them. Gotta generate that chi. 
I look so boss with these corpses around my little body. Like, yup, I just killed all these guys. Okay, Captain. Pushing forward. Finally, some good news from the Frostmane front. I'll have the Mountaineers press their attack immediately. Now we must signal our gnomish allies at Steel Grill to start their advance. Choose your reward. So I'm not a rogue, so I can't get the dagger. Um, sharp axe. I don't think gnomes use axes. The abomination used an axe. Gnarled short staff. So I definitely use staffs, but it's minus one intellect. I am going to get that. And maybe gnomes use intellect. Let me look it up real quick. Okay, so I found out that monks do indeed use intellect, but specifically the monks who are healers. Hi, how are you? Those pilots can't wait to get back to into their steam tanks and take to the field again. Let's not let them down. Off and away. Whoa, what happened? He walked away from Any me. Assistance? continue. These gyro mechanic gears are perfect. These two tank pilots are well on their way to being back in the fight. So I can... I can't get the cog belt, but I can take the oil-stained gloves, and I'm using torque applying gloves right now. And these are level 6, and what I'm wearing is level 4, but it doesn't look like they give me anything else. They're both for armor, but I feel like I should wear the oil stained gloves because they match. Let's take a look at my outfit now. Oh my gosh, that looks so funny on the table. Look at his face. Help from Steel Grills Depot. With your help, we've managed to push toward Frost Main Retreat. Our forces will soon be in position to dwindle down the Frostmane Trolls. Oh my gosh, I just realized that I'm still dancing. <laughs> okay, let's be normal again. That's where the Nomergon Covert Ops team comes in. Their technicians have figured out a way to deploy operatives behind enemy lines without alerting the Frostmanes to our presence. Head to Steel Girls Depot just northeast of town and speak with Delber Crank Toggle. He'll tell you more about it. Speak to Delber Crank Toggle at Steel Grills Depot. Are there any more quests I can pick up here? I still have this one. Loza, you promised to save the children. So how do I try and do it again? Abandon, untrack. Do I click abandon and then can I get it again? I can get it again. Okay. I can try again next time for that. It's just, how do you go up there? Blinktron 5000. Now what is Blinktron? Whoa. Hello there. Oh my gosh, he has a grill. Wait. Is that a grill? Maybe he doesn't have a grill. He should have a grill. His name is Blinktron. But look at the top of his head. He's like broken. Okay, Blinktron, what are you? The way he talks. The bells have told. Shelter your weak, your young, and your old. Of course. Of you shall pay the final sum. Cry for, Cry mercy. for mercy. The, the reckoning, reckoning has, has come. come. Okay, guy. I know. I know. Oh my gosh, so obnoxious. Are you done? You will accept this gift and you will like it. To do otherwise will automatically engage my organic incineration weapons. Thank you. Oh, okay, well. How can I refuse that? So what exactly was that? I received a Blingtron 5000 gift package. Why do I feel like that's not a good thing? Right click to open. Soulbound Unique. I'm kind of weary about right-clicking on this, but... YOLO. Oh, It is a shield tronic shield. Requires level 91. Protects the user with a shield that absorbs up to 348 damage. Do monks use shields? And a neural silence... Silencer. Silencer. Immune to some annoyances. What does that mean? Can I use this now against the Headless Horseman? 
And I also have an 01000010. This publication is written in binary code. It contains pictures of malfunctioning fluxfire felines and has a fold-out schematic in the center. Well, that is very interesting. What do I do with these, though? Inventory is full. Oh, no wonder I can't pick it up. My inventory is full. I can get rid of my trainees cord. It's only one farthing. Maybe instead of throwing away stuff, I should go sell stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, innkeeper Belm. Oh my gosh, this headless horseman. The beer basted Boribs. I don't want to get rid of that yet because I mean memories, but I guess I can get rid of the trainees leggings and what else? Tough jerky. Me, bleeding till I can't breathe. I'm shaking, falling onto my knees.